Hey, what's happening there, guys? It's not a coincidence that I get this uh, Montreal Fire Chief unit over here uh, because there was actually, unfortunately, a fire this morning, today being the uh, 11th of April, in this uh, residence. I think it's an old folks' residence, I'm not sure. Of course, not surprisingly, I got here, and it's contained. It's, it's done, and it's over with. Firemen are slowly leaving. I think there's only one fire call I ever went to, and it was an, actually a fire. See, there's another fire chief there. I didn't expect it to still be happening anyway. I figured I'll go see anyway, and you know, because it's not something that happens all the time where there's an actual fire call and I could, you know, possibly film it because it's, it's interesting. Anyway, but on, oddly enough, on the way here, first of all, you got this 1996, 97, 98 Ford Aeromax here. Which is kind of a weirdo because, uh, you know, the Ford Louisville line, which they made these trucks from 1970 to 98. But what's weird is that Ford redesigned the front end, the hood and all that, the grill and headlights for 96, but they kept the same cab. But then what happened is that Sterling bought out the, the uh, Ford Heavy commercial truck line. So after that... Uh, the whole front was similar, but the whole cab was redesigned, so it was really a Sterling, was no longer a Ford. But this is what blew my mind, is this truck still exists, amazingly, this 82 Dodge Crew Cab pickup. And I just checked my phone to, in my YouTube channel to see actually when I did actually film this truck, and that was like seven years ago almost. And it's still here, I'm happy to tell you, it still exists. You know, I mean, in here in the Rust Belt. So good for the gentleman who owns it, and I, there's no way this thing is winter driven, because believe me, it, most vehicles here in the Rust Belt, they rust like you wouldn't believe. And uh, so, I mean, it's not mint, but it's in good shape considering where it is. I know it's not in the West Coast here, but I just wanted to do a quick walk around, kind of a, like a little update video. And I could have swore I saw another one at about the same time that I saw this one. Oh yeah, that's right. I knew a guy in, in uh, who had a garage at Dollar Tesoro. He had an 83. And oddly enough, it was an 83. It was the same thing, except it was a 4x4. And it had the running boards, and he bought it in the States. And, uh, and it was the opposite. It had the brown in the middle here, and the rest of the truck was white. That's cool, though. Eh? You got your Dodge Ram horns here, hood ornament. I uh, don't believe that's original, but anyway, still very cool to see and uh, I think this is like so many things today when it comes to vehicles Unfortunately, they'll never make again. Uh, oh, and actually I should also mention it's funny because you see the size of this thing It's absolutely enormous just like a GMC or a Chevy or a Ford and yet in this day and age If you see a Dodge pickup made in the last, you know, whatever 20 years and if it's not a crew a crew cab That's weird actually that's that's very weird because they're all crew caps, you know. Kind of makes you wonder a bit, you know. Yeah, still very original. You know, it'd be really weird though. Think of it again, though. I mean, imagine somebody ordered a crew cab with a slant six. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's very unlikely because an engine for that minimum would have been a 318, a 360, maybe a 400. If the 400 was even still available, I don't know, you know. Anyway, so there you go. See, everything happens for a reason. I come down here, maybe film a fire, and I refilm a truck. Et voilà. So thanks for watching. Take care. Oh, I gotta go see if I can find any other oldies anywhere banging around. Fuck. Jesus Christ. It looks like a toy, for Christ's sake. This is what it's come to. Cars that look like toys. That's what I'm talking about. There's the complete opposite of this, this little shit box. This is the complete opposite. This is basically says, I am a man. I build things. I make things. I create things. I am filled with testosterone. Same thing with that Dodge Charger. It's the same thing. I am a man's man. You know what I'm saying about that, right? Shit, I used to drink a lot. I used to smoke a lot. But I've gotten, gotten smarter in my age. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I hardly drink. And uh, yeah, these guys are walking around in t-shirts. I'm wearing a jacket because when there's wind, it's cold. And I'm old. <laughs> oh, you missed it. Speaking of manly things, they're black Mustang convertible, black rims. I'm getting tired of the whole black thing, though. I got to tell you right now. The whole black car, black trucks, black rims. <sighs> I hope you heard that sigh. Anyway, take it easy and uh, what the fuck is this?
What the hell is that? Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.